Can I offer you a drink? We're on duty. Hey. Excuse me. You on duty, too? Yeah. Well, just a few questions, Mrs. Ritter. Did Bunky act peculiar the last few months or so? Different? What the hell has that got to do with something pushing him down the elevator shaft? He was wearing a tape recorder, Mrs. Ritter. You know anything about that? I don't know what I know. You're the policeman. Did Bunky have a girlfriend? Who were some of his friends? No one. He went to church a lot. Sacred Heart. Most of his free time was spent there. He must have had some friends. It's important that we locate any tapes that Bunky may have had. <laughs> yeah, I bet it's important. That it's very important to the two of you. The internal affairs people were here hours ago. Two college-educated little pricks. Acted like they was born and bred in Ohio. I'm going to tell you what I told them. Walter neither drank nor gambled. He disapproved of the lottery. His spare time was spent making the Venus over at the Sacred Heart. Did they dig around in his room? I wouldn't let him. Well, we're going to have to. It's important. Now, uh... Which room is Bunky's? You are not poking around in Walter's room. We're going through this place, madam. You obstruct me, and I'll personally see that you never see a cent of his pension. Ah, oh, get out. Get out of here, the two of you. After you're gone, I'm going to tear this place upside down like a cyclone hit it. I'm going to call the Daily News to do a story on how the New York City Police Department treats the mother of a hero. My brother's a priest. He is an old-fashioned parish priest with gray hair. The two of us could do a scene on the 6 o'clock news with him, this city in tears. My Walter was as tough as a bar of iron, and he didn't get that from his father. Now, you want to fight? Officer, and you get the hell out of my house. 